Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab. I am Beaker and today we're gonna look at some pretty interesting raids. So if you guys remember the last pushing video we did, it was all about fails. Now sometimes guys, those terrible, terrible raids that are almost fails, they turn into two stars. And then all of a sudden you're like, whoa, I won. So you keep going. But how do we make those happen all the time? That's a good question. Some of you are gonna know how to do that. You save troops, you stay calm, and you just never stop pushing for that 50% and that town hall. So we're gonna talk about that today, guys. First, let's look at this base here. Now this base, when I look at it, uh, maybe you guys look at it differently, but I always think hit the top left. So from the top left, we can go in there. It's a pretty short distance to the town hall, and we can also take out one inferno at a time. Uh, that's a little tip I'll throw at you right now. If you guys don't do that already, I would recommend only face one inferno at a time. If you came like right from the left side here, you would basically face two infernos at once. You don't want to do that. So, kind of got screwed up here because you'll notice by my spell composition, I'm not using a jump spell. Really not used to that. And that jump spell makes everything easier. It makes your golems pull ahead of the rest of your army. So, I just totally noobed out and my uh, archer queen got targeted. That's going to be a recurring theme this video. Watch for that, guys. My Archer Queen going down too early and getting targeted. She's almost dead right now, but thankfully, we had enough spells. We had enough troops in there. They are going to lock onto the Town Hall and take it out. Boom. Thank the Lord. But we're still only at 40%. Now, troops are going to get a few more buildings, but I was kind of freaking out at this point. So, notice I saved a P.E.K.K.A. This is kind of my go-to thing when I'm... You know, looking at a base and I'm thinking, I might need extra percentage, I'll save one P.E.K.K.A. Or I'll save, I wouldn't save like a Golem, because that wouldn't get much percentage on its own. But I would save like a P.E.K.K.A. or a bunch of Wizards, or um, and even Barbs and Archers and Minions. Those are really the, the best thing. At the very least, guys, I'm going to say this is the first tip. At the very least, bring four or five Archers, a few Minions, a few Barbs. For those clean up buildings maybe you need five percent maybe you need 15 percent but if you bring enough cleanup troops you can get it so guys here's the next raid and look at this army i have it's an army i don't really like um i didn't bring you know a jump spell again this army might work with a jump spell but <laughs> without it you know i just don't like it as much i even brought like 20 something wall breakers but i'm just not uh, i'm not i'm not digging it but let's check it out here so again look at this <laughs> my golems went off to the side because uh, i wall breakered in on the sides first so my golems went to the side and the arch queen got targeted again by an expo she got hurt but i had to use the arch queen ability she's okay but it's crunch time. We gotta get in here and get this town hall, and then we're gonna have to scrape to get the 50%. But this is my second point, guys. Don't ever give up. Now look at this. I'm dying here. I am absolutely dead in the water at 30 something percent. My heroes are dying. My hero abilities are used. I have no real good spells left. I have just a lightning spell, and my troops are running pretty low. But we're gonna stick with it, guys. Look at this. We got a golem coming out onto this compartment on the bottom left here and then we're going to throw all our cleanup troops the barbs the wizards the minions down here on the left while we have this golem tanking for us and let's hope it's enough already we're at 43 percent doing pretty good at this point in the raid i was still like no way is this going to work but i'm at least going to try you know i'm definitely going to try now that little golemite is just hanging on for dear life he's almost dead but guys we had some wizards if you can save some wizards, that's another tip, great tip, if you guys don't do it already. If you're doing a go wipe army or any kind of an army with wizards, saving just two wizards, even maybe just one wizard, is going to help you in the end. Wizards are great to get that, they can like one shot a lot of buildings like builders huts, stuff like that. So if you save a few wizards, oftentimes, boom, boom, you can get the last few buildings you need to get that 50%. Now, of course, to do all this, you've got to get the Town Hall first, so you do have to pull off a good raid. And for that, you know, it's all about army. It's all about being comfortable. Like I was saying, I wasn't really comfortable with this army. Um, I like, uh, I don't know, honestly, I like having two or three P.E.K.K.A.s. I don't really care about having Valks, and I like having a jump spell. We're going to see a, uh, a replay in a minute where I do have the jump spell, and you're going to see how big of a difference that makes. 
Um, it makes the raid a lot easier. So here, I'm screwing around with the wall breakers. Being terrible with the wall breakers. I mean, don't give me wall breakers. I'm terrible with them. So I was just trying to open up. <laughs> I did it again. I was just trying to open up a few entry points for the golems. I wanted to go in three spots. One, two, three. You know, and, uh, you know, I kind of did that, but in, you know, while I was doing that, I used like 15 wall breakers. I'm still, still, my wall breakers are dying. And again, my archer queen got targeted by an archer tower, I guess. I don't know, something like that. So she's almost dead. Alrighty, this raid is going terribly. And, <laughs> you know, a jump spell would have made it a lot easier, like I said, but this raid's going terribly. But let's see what we can do to pull it off, guys. Now this base, it's not completely maxed, and that's always good. I mean, a, a, a base that's not completely maxed, it's a lot more forgiving. Plus, this dude is upgrading some stuff. Look at the bottom, he's upgrading an archer tower, so if we can get this town hall, we can probably pull out the two-star. So let's see, I did save the Arch Queen ability this time, looks like, thankfully. Using the Arch Queen ability too early is a big no-no. A lot of you guys probably know that, but that's going to be another tip for getting the two-star. Always wait till the very last second. Unless you think your Arch Queen's about to die, don't use that Arch Queen ability, because it adds so much power. You know, it, like on my other account sometimes when I'm playing and I don't have a maxed Arch Queen on those other accounts, when you use that Arch Queen ability, it adds so much power and it really makes her excel and, and get the Town Hall really quickly. So save that Arch Queen ability to the last second. Now, this is what I'm saying, guys. Upgrading Archer Tower, we're going to exploit that and get a bunch of free buildings down here. This would have been a lot tougher without that upgrading uh, Archer Tower there, but... You know, we saved some wizards as well, so we probably could have pulled it off either way. And bases like this, they're really compact. There's not a lot of free buildings, but once you take out half the half the base, there's a few free buildings, you know, hopefully. Hopefully, sometimes you're going to get unlucky and there's going to be none, but, uh, you know, in that case, hopefully you at least got one star, right? So 53% wasn't a huge trophy offer, only 12 trophies there, so it was about an 18 trophy offer, but uh, still... Better than a one star, right? Now this is going to be a raid where everything goes well because I have a jump spell. That's what I keep talking about, guys. So I like having two raids, two freeze. So to have a jump spell, I have to forego the lightning spell. So to do that, I'm going to try to lure the clan castle. It didn't really work here. I didn't have enough hog riders, but that's okay. We're going to get out some of the clan castle. That's better than nothing. We're going to get out about, looks like, eight or ten archers. We're going to drag them over to the side here throw down a golem and a few wizards and that's gonna take them out you know better than nothing better to take out just a whoops low battery we're gonna take out just a few and that's better than nothing so then the other golem is gonna go on the top side and the middle they're kind of getting screwy here because I didn't make an opening but in the end everybody's gonna go in this middle hole that I just made that middle entry point golems coming back around now this raid, I'm not going to make the same mistakes that I kept making in the past. I learned from my mistakes. I'm not going to drop the Arch Queen too early and boom, look at that. Arch Queen is behind everybody else. She is not going to get killed early in this raid. She is full health. Yeah, buddy. So Barb King is first. That's pretty good. You know, Barb King, he's a tank. He does some decent damage too, but you want to have him out front with the P.E.K.K.A.s and the Golems, Wizards in the middle and the Arch Queen in the back. Boom. Everything's going perfect. We have the jump spell up front. Uh, now everybody is jumping into the core. Going to have a party in there and get the two star so easily on this. We're not going to need to snipe any buildings here. I'm pretty confident this is going to be just an easy two star. But even if we had to snipe a few buildings, we are saving the Arch Queen ability till the last second. Um, we do have a bunch of archers, two minions, and a wizard still. So even if we had been a few buildings short, even if we had had maybe a slightly lower level heroes, we could have still gotten that two star. So guys, hope you learned something from the tips today. They weren't all that specific, but I just want you guys to get a feel for some of the things you can do to save yourself from getting one stars when you're trophy pushing. The best way to climb trophies, especially when you're using a big army, you want to get as many trophies as you can per raid. To do that, Make sure you get the two stars, guys. Save some troops. Go in with a clear head. Have a good army that you're comfortable with. Even if that means having a jump spell like me, make sure you do it, guys. So, hope you enjoyed these tips and this video. If you did, leave me a comment below, guys. And I will see you next time. Peace.